Hello guys, welcome to tech for you channel. In today's video, we are going to see all about Microsoft Business Unit. For some people, MBU course is updated in your Explore dashboard. So we'll see what is mean by MBU and there is a doubt that the pattern changes from Python or Java to the new pattern. So all these things we'll see in today's video. Don't skip the video. Subscribe to tech for you channel to get more useful updates. Okay, the first thing I would like to say is if the MBU course is automatically updated, which means you did not subscribe from catalog, then you are allocated to Microsoft Business Unit. Okay, what is mean by MBU? MBU is nothing but a cloud unit which is similar to the AWS. So you will be working on digital transformation, security services, edge to cloud, then on some of the softwares of Azure. And if you are really interested in this Microsoft Business Unit, then you can start to do some Microsoft certification. So you can do Microsoft certification for free. First of all, for eligibility of the certificate, you have to write the exam. If you clear the exam by a particular threshold mark, then you will be getting the certificate. I already have made the video on how to get the Microsoft certificate for free. So I'll give it an I button and also in description, you can check it there. If you ask me which is the basic certificate to do in Microsoft, the first one is AZ900 which is Azure Fundamentals, then MS900 which is M365 Fundamentals, then SC900 which is Security, Identity and Compliance Fundamentals. All these three certifications are available for free and you have to attend the virtual training. So all these things I have detailedly explained in that video itself. Then the next question is you may have a doubt that whether if you are allocated to this Microsoft business unit your exam pattern for IPA changes. Surely it will change. As I told in my previous video there are four patterns for IPA. Java, Python, C Sharp then ITIS. So if you are allocated into Microsoft business unit then you will be writing the IPA in C Sharp language. Next I will also show you the pattern for C Sharp before that. Even though the language changes in IPA pattern, but the logic of the program will repeat in all the IPA similar to the Python or Java. I will give the telegram group in description. You can join the telegram group and I will post you the C sharp programming materials. And the other important doubt is some of the people have cleared the IPA already in the older pattern. So those people need not attend the IPA in MBU pattern once again. If you already cleared this IPA then you are eligible for the incentive. So you need not attend this IPA in MBU pattern again. Now we will see the MBU pattern. So this is the pattern of MBU. You will be having 5 KYT questions, 5 business skill questions, 10 UI questions, 10 C sharp questions. 5 MS SQL questions, then 15 MBU related questions, then 2 C sharp programming, one is on medium level, one is on advanced level. So the same 15 marks is carried out for medium level and 35 marks is for advanced level coding questions. So for coding questions, I will give you the material in telegram group. So join for that. Hope this video helps in clearing your doubts. Subscribe to tech for your channel to get more useful updates. Meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.